And welcome, everyone, to the latest anime news for the week ending November 20th, 2022, starting off with some weird news. The Dropkick on My Devil X anime series um, has been uh, partially funded through some hometown tax programs um, uh, from various cities. And um, they're getting funds from locales in exchange for higher cities and episodes of the show, right? So the episodes um, set in there. One city has taken issue with its featured episode. <laughs> um, Ferrano City's Committee for Budget Audits has denied the funds for the Ferrano focused episode, withdrawing its plan to 33 million yen contribution after a very close eight to seven vote. The anime being controversial again. Wow. Uh, the plot sees the main character, Josh and Chan. Attempting to sell her organs to pay off her debts. <laughs> and some budget committee members declared this socially unacceptable. <sighs> Leaving it cast Ferrano. Ca- Council way. man, what are my tax dollars being paid for? <laughs> exactly. What is um, this cartoon about? Why is she selling her organs, sir? In fairness, one committee member said it was just some random anime premise and should not be taken out of context. However, <laughs> Um, and the mayor of the city did express his disappointment, regretting what he saw as an encroachment on the freedom of expression. Um, oh. According to the city council, this is the first time in 17 years that an account settlement hasn't been approved. Huh. So, that's, a, that's actually wow. very interesting. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, and in fairness, like you know, everyone's like, censorship bad. I can see it be one of those things where you know, a lot of these shows go very heavy in the parody, very heavy in the right in how they yeah. how they portray things. So it could be like you know, they're showing Frano City, you know, buy your organs on every street, <laughs> yeah. right. or something like that. Or like, hey. A den of yeah. organ thieves right. and dealers. Right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm more accustomed to seeing things like the one that did the the Seven Hot Springs. Yeah. So where it's like, yeah. oh, you know, there's an anime, and they just go to each hot spring there, <laughs> yeah. and it's just like <laughs> that's all sort of the the public good. It's like come visit the hot springs, like okay. Yeah. So I can see if it went a little on the on the weird dark side. If some <laughs> some of the city council be like, no, oh, <laughs> you're not flattering us with this one. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and again, in fairness, you know, it's it's not like it's not censorship in the sense of we, for if you to broadcast. Right. It's like we're paying for this. Yeah. Right. Right. I, I right. can I can see them being a little a little more touchy. Yeah. Um. Meanwhile, uh, password management service NordPass revealed their uh, fourth annual analysis of popular passwords this week, analyzing data from 30 different countries to a list of the most common passwords of 2022. This is important because if people are reusing the same passwords, then hackers know what to target. The usual um, uh, entries, password, and (laughs) one, two, three, four, five, six, top the list. But that 200 also features number of geekier entries. Coming at number 107 is Pokemon, oh, which okay. has unsurprisingly featured on the list in all four years. As far as other anime goes, perennial favorite Naruto has also shown up for the last three years and ranked in 2022 at number 148. Uh, and the U.S. only list Pokemon is way up at number 66, though Naruto did not make it into the top 200 for the U.S. So oh. Pokemon beats Naruto officially. Pikachu, I choose you. you. <laughs> For my password. For my password, yeah. yeah clearly. clearly. And it's like, come on, please, please. okay, folks, stop using like single word things for passwords. Can we, can we just stop doing that? You know, it's not just, what is your password? Sprite. Great. Yeah, no one can possibly guess that one. Good job. Uh, uh, um, Finally, in weird anime news, nostalgia for classic video games is going strong lately. And now even Crunchyroll is getting in on the action. The service has announced the upcoming Hime's Quest game for Game Boy Color, an 8-bit action-adventure game starring Crunchyroll's mascot as she fights to save the world's electronics from Y2K. It's set in 1999. Wow. (laughs) That's a blow back of it. Past. Oh wow. my goodness! A physical edition of the game is available for people right now, and a free-to-play browser version will release sometime in the future. Um, wow. Crunchyroll Hime will be fighting against a malevolent force that threatens technology in New Crunchy City, including the Anime Club's precious DVD VCR combo player, which apparently is not Y2K compatible. Uh, <laughs> wow! 
Wow. Well, in all fairness, there's a there's a lot of twenty somethings right now that have no idea what Y two K was. True. <laughs> yeah. So yep. what is uh, kind of goofy old school to us is like, no, this is new and shiny and neat. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. It, the, the old guys used to believe that when the clocks turned to 2000, that everything we were going to go back into the dark ages. Wow. It, it's a great point. I mean, this is, this is very retro. Yep. Right. It is, it is all the retro. All I'm right. For the preppy movement to come back and blow, <laughs> blow for penny no, loafers with pennies no, in them and stuff. No. Oh, gee. No, no. God. Good news. There's it comes through the reason why I was a punk then. <laughs> Pogs? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Um, let's move on to some anime announcements, shall we? Uh, big one this week. Katakawa announced it's producing a new work in the Gamera giant monster. Yes. There we go. Giant monster franchise. Nice. It's titled yes. Gamera Rebirth, streaming worldwide on Netflix. I hope it has the iconic um, Olympic gymnastic scene yes it's absolutely shoot, and there's something 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 there's a great um uh meme of that because the the line in the mc 3 k version is uh -huh. i just now realized how weird this movie is <laughs> <laughs> only now <laughs> right, only, only now. now just figuring this out um, All right. an official website opened this week featuring support of remarks from the director of the 1995 gamera film trilogy um in a short teaser was posted on the katakawa anime youtube channel um, uh, Gamera made his debut in 1965 as a competitor to a certain more famous giant lizard monster and had 12 films in his franchise, most recently in 2006. And as we know, he is full of meat and really meat. <laughs> Everybody loves turtle meat, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, turtle burger, Gamera is full of meat. Gamera is really neat. We all love you, Gamera. So, um <laughs> So, for those very confused, um, <laughs> early seasons of the classic Mystery Science Theater 3000 were very heavy on Gamera episodes. So there's a lot of weird Gamera jokes in Mystery Science Theater. Um, moving on to more anime announcements, Katakawa also revealed a TV anime based on the Bull Buster franchise. Pronouncing that very carefully. Yes, Bull Buster. Yeah. Uh, the anime follows a young engineer and his new robot, the Bull Buster, as they join a company that specializes in exterminating harmful animals, trying to balance the ideals of fighting harmful creatures and the realities of costs and the economy. It sounds like there might also be like alien monsters involved at some point. Um, Say so that thing has got things. a fairly decent sized gun on his shoulder. So yeah. <laughs> don't pick like, it like, about I raccoons. This, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I had this vision of this thing walking around like a pasture, going. <laughs> this one's good first takes, and the gun comes up. <laughs> it's just all off the yeah. So you got a cockroach infestation? Well, I'll just send the robot in. <laughs> <laughs> Destroys the entire building. Cockroaches <laughs> run everywhere. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> yeah, somebody needs to like take this and then and then like have the robot sent in and then cut to like scenes from Evangelion. And just you know. <laughs> 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 Total annihilation. <laughs> Dirty. Oh, dear. Um, but it looks cool. Definitely a Robotics Notes vibe from this. Yeah. Well. We'll see. Um, Square Enix has announced a TV anime coming in April based on the Dead Mount Death Play manga, uh, written by the creator of Bacan Bacano and Dorara. Oh. Exciting. And illustrated by Shinta Fujimoto, who previously illustrated Bacano's manga adaptation. Um, set in another world where a powerful necromancer intends to survive a final showdown with a legendary hero using reincarnation magic to revive a nearby corpse, but accidentally reincarnates himself into a boy in the modern world instead. Wackiness hmm. clearly ensues. Hmm. I mean, it, I got to tell you, that art, banner yeah. art right there looks really intriguing. Yeah, yeah, love that art. So, excited for that. Um... Taiko Kawamura's My Clueless First Friend manga is also inspiring an anime adaptation with a 2023 debut. A lonely, gloomy fifth grade girl named Nishimura has only ever been teased and bullied by her classmates until a clueless but friendly new kid decides to befriend her and begins to draw her out of her shell. So, Aww. dark premise, but looks extremely cute. Yeah. 
Till you, you find know. out he's there to harvest her organs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. I'm, I'm I'm sensing that the 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 pretty lady who gives me food and I will be watching this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it looks it, it looks like it's going to be adorable. Oh, absolutely yes, absolutely it is. Um, hoping it is going in that direction. Um, and not uh, harvesting organs because that not, not harvesting organs. I, that's a total shift. I don't think I'm really ready. <laughs> Is he going to confess um, to me? Is he going to confess to me? I just wanted to let you know that no one will miss you. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? I, I. <laughs> Your liver will be delicious. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> I have a recipe in mind for you. Yeah. <laughs> I would love it's to have cookbook. you for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> Pony Canyon has revealed an upcoming TV animation anime adaptation of the light novel series The Dreaming Man is a Realist, which has possibly the most stereotypical anime um, uh, promo art in existence. Don't judge me. Um, I'm watching this. It's written by Michiko Yokote, who also worked on Cowboy Bebop and Roni Kenshin. Oh. So my eyebrows shot up immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a two-way unrequited love story, they say, starting with a high school student who's hopelessly in love with his beautiful classmate who finds him annoying, but once he snaps out of it and starts to leave her alone, she finds her opinion of him changes. Mm -hmm. So it might be a, all the complexities of young love. Imagine that. Um, Crunchyroll, Wow Wow, and Sony Pictures are producing an anime adaptation of To Ubukata's Bye Bye Earth novel. Ooh. Um, the story is set on, the, on an earth where all people take the form of animals except for one girl, Belle, who sets out to discover if there's anyone else like her. I'm assuming that's her. Just saying. Probably. Are you Thinking. super saying? No, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not doing the hair thing. Uh, yeah, okay. exactly. Um, I Still, that's a cool. Know. That's a cool cover. Cool cover. Yeah. Very cool. Um, let's see here um, again. We'll be on Crunchyroll. Um, sword wielder, obviously. Um, um, oh, it should be uh, pointed out. They all have the characteristics of animals, so they're not all animal animals. But they're, okay. I'm assuming they have rabbit ears or whatever. Right. Cat girls. Cat girls. Yeah, as yeah. far as the eye can see. Cat girls galore. Oh. Um, <laughs> And um, finally, in anime announcements, manga author Takahiro of Akagame Ga Kill and VTuber designer Mika Picazzo are creating an original multimedia theater girls project titled World Die Star. Um, it'll launch sometime next year and we'll host a YouTube live stream on the 27th for, with more details with several voice actresses as special guests. So I'm assuming sort of an Idol Master Love Live esque sort of a project. There. Interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. Also, stereotypical art but again you know as you would expect from something like this yeah no complaints also this week uh let's see here um j novel club has announced it's producing um do we have no we, we do not um j novel club has announced that it is producing a number of english audiobook editions of novel series it's licensed um huh. including the upcoming lineup is in another world with my smartphone. Oh, I like that. Have a realist hero that rebuilt the kingdom. Mm. And seven others, including My Daughter Left the Nest and Returned an S Rank Adventure, which just announced an upcoming anime adaptation. So, yeah, so if you're looking for the light novel versions of various anime, that might be the, the place to go to check those out. J Novel Club. Interesting. Okay. Um, so that is very cool. Um, two more big films are making their way to American theaters soon. Uh, Fathom Events will screen the new Shin Ultraman film from Studio Kara, January 11th and 12th. Um, I just got a vision of Shin-Chan in, in the Ultraman. <laughs> yeah. I would watch that. that. <laughs> Shin-Chan Ultraman. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, also, the Sword Art Online progressive scherzo of Deep Night film is coming to theaters in the U.S. and Canada in February. Oh, yeah. um, the second installment of the progressive anime film series based on novels of the same name, which retells the events of SAO from Asuna's perspective. Yeah. So that one is coming to theaters. Hopefully that'll be good, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I still need to get back into SAO. Like, boy, that's another one hanging out on my uh, on my list. 
Yeah, I had trouble getting into the further part of Alicization War in the Underworld. Mm. I I was I was struggling to try and get forward to that show. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> fair. Haven't gone back yet. <laughs> yeah, fair. Um Bookwalker Global has announced it'll launch the Tatesque vertical scrolling webcomic brand in English. Um, so for those not familiar, these are these um, webcomics that are structured as long sets of images that kind of you scroll on the web page as opposed uh, to you know, okay, gotcha, typical gotcha. I've seen thing. some of those. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 24 titles at launch, including Bungo Stray Dogs and The Devil is a Part-Timer. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, um, nice. First five chapters for free, subsequent chapters on an a la carte basis. Katakawa and Yen Press are both on board on the brand. Uh, with this expansion being part of Katakawa's intent to become, quote unquote, more aggressive with multilingual releases. So, hopefully, seeing Good more of that in the future. Hopefully, it'd be, it'd be nice. Um, and finally, speaking of manga and international expansion, the organizing committee behind Comicat um, has officially opened a second Twitter account. Focused on international visitors. I'm sorry, it's Twitter. <laughs> sorry? Hey, nothing. Well, I, 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 yeah. No, no, Elon Musk and all that stuff. Or, or, I, um, I'm just glad to see if they've got something for international visitors. Yes. Yeah. Well, this like, is the thing. Um, coming regardless back of the platform. December, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're coming back on December 30th and 31st this year. And since the country's open to tourism again, it makes sense the event will want to prepare for international attendees. The new Twitter account features scheduling information and info, and it's reading some announcements in Mandarin, Chinese, and Korean, as well as in English. Cool. Um, the company's had an official um, English language Facebook page for some years, but found that international fans were still following the Twitter account, the, the Japanese Twitter account, more than the Facebook page, because that was where all the actual, you know, that's where everything was being published first. So they were just Google translated, presumably. So it's like, okay, well, clearly this is the more effective kind of, you know, uh, medium for that. So, yay, if you're interested cool. in that, that is available. Um, and that is at um, uh, <coughs> Comicat underscore INTL, huh. if you're looking for that. Um, and actually, pretty impressive. Like, they, they, they post, like, images with schedules on it and that kind of stuff. So you get all of the, all the information in it, all in English. So, yay. Yeah, that's incredibly helpful, actually. Yeah. Yay. Um, For as long as Twitter is still up. Yeah. Well, yes. Um, I can imagine yeah. all the like if it was posted on the Japanese site. If you had, a, if you weren't using a good translator, like yeah. folks ending yeah. up in like Osaka, like this isn't comic yet. What the hell's going on? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, w one of their tweets I think summarizes comic yet. Um We are announcing the genres by day and hall of upcoming comic yet, which is by the way comic yet one hundred and one. Whoa. <laughs> Each day of Comic Con has different circles, about 10,000 of them per day. Oh. So if you come on the wrong day, you will not find what you're looking for. <laughs> wow. This is why in every anime about Comic Con, people plan what they're doing. I'm going to go to this. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Comic Con yeah. has a half a million people a day. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yeah. I want to go. I just want to go yeah, I just, once in my right, life. Right, right. <laughs> once in my life, I'd like to go. It, it, we don't even have to plan. We just have to be there. Yeah. Well, actually, the unfortunately, I mean, that, 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 that's <laughs> unfortunately that's that's also changed. You cannot get tickets on site anymore. <gasps> wow. You have to go to a yeah. Lawson's. <laughs> it's not Lawson's. So yeah, the, uh, no tickets will be made available on purchase on the ground. The Tokyo big site must be pre-purchased before arrival. Unfortunately. Dang. So you got to got to got to. Got to prep. Now, can you get on site? I mean, could you? Are you allowed to people watch, or you literally there's you have to get onto the site with a ticket to get further into the building? I. I what do you mean by on site? Is would be the like, question because can you just you're if you're not going to line up to get into the venue, can you just go there to be around and see the, some of the cosplayers to doing picture stuff and just so, be around the area? So the problem is, you would be. I, I don't think you could you could get close enough to to the to any of the events because the lines are so long. Okay. You'd be on the you'd be on the outside of the lines. Hmm. And so there's there's you, the lines, and then the cosplayers, and then there's the the building itself. Um and there's there's none of the and um 
uh, obviously none of the circles are outside the building. Right, right. Yeah, but I was just saying, cosplay. if you didn't have tickets to get in, just go and right. be around the area, around what's going on. Yeah, it's, it's, it. it's a good question. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I, I suspect see... there's a lot of move-alongs. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 you know, thinking back to photos I've seen of Comic Cat, there, are, there are so many big crowds around. Of lines of people, I'm I'm sure you get close enough to like to, to see stuff. Yeah, right? it, it, it's not right. like impossible, um, but I don't think you you could get you know within easy like photo distance, right? Uh, of, of cosplayers yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, you have to kind of you know be be doing this, you know, over yeah. the heads of people, kind of <laughs> holding, your, shots. holding your phone over. And yeah, over exactly. Your, your angle right. <laughs> so interesting question. selfie selfie stick put way yeah. up there <laughs> and of course that may also be different you know these days it could be the crowds are different because of crowd management who knows yeah. right um um you would have wanted to come a couple of years ago when they had when the uh, jsdf showed up with all the girls in panzer tanks that would have been cool oh, that would um, been so cool yeah <laughs> damn it so yeah that's all the news of the week thank you all for watching oh. see you all next week <laughs> <laughs>